do whatever you want I'll settle for nothing As long as we can get the fire I'll do whatever you do Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are, and welcome to Gold Creek Country Club in the Australian Capital Territory, Canberra, the nation's capital, par four first hole. Good drive down the middle there, 337 metre hole, hitting our approach shot, and we block it out to the right. There's some mounds out there, bit of rough stuff. First hole of the day, got this nice little chip Hit it okay, just didn't hit it hard enough and uh, left that well short. And we've got a nice uphill putt here for par. Very quick greens here today at Gold Creek. As you'll see as we progress through the vlog. And what a start. We start with a double bogey, something I haven't done in quite a while. But it's good to see as we tap that one in and move on to the second hole. It's a straight par four, 365 meters. Decent drive there, right where I was aiming. There's a little mound there that you can carry and there's more fairway behind it as you can see. And a similar shot to our approach we hit on the first hole there, just left that one blocked out to the right. I missed it right where I thought I was going to miss it. Alright, decided to putt this. It's kind of, it wasn't sitting of sitting well, wasn't the best of lies. It wasn't a very good shot at all, really. So, we're left with another longish par putt that goes a mile past and down the hill. And how about that? Double bogey, double bogey start. Just what you want in it. Now we're on the par five. Nice drive there. Got hold of that one nicely. Now just thinking, nice three wood here down the fairway will do me well. And I've blocked that one out to the right. And I think I've hit that one fat as well from memory. And it's a long way in. Still around 200 or so here, so it's another three wood. You, Just hit a low runner. Beautiful cooch fairways here at Gold Creek. Place was in immaculate condition. Front edge anyway. As I said, the greens were very fast. Fairways are beautiful. Big uphill putt here. Left that way short again. Probably a bit scared off after the first few putts and how fast the greens were. But thankfully, snuck that one in the left-hand side for a par. And we stopped the bleeding. Alright, the fourth hole. It's a long 390 metre par four. Playing into the wind. Nice drive away there, down the fairway. Still got around 200 in. So I'm going to try and hit the same shot as I did on the par five. Just a low running three wood. I got that one nice. It's there. Set. 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 Back edge, baby. Yep, very happy with that one. Just from the back of the green, putting down and lag that one up nicely and tap in for a par. So two pars in a row. Very happy with that now after the double bogey, double bogey start. One of this beautiful par 3 fifth, little amphitheatre around the green with the beautiful mounding you can see on the left there. Bunker on the right, I've missed that completely. So short sighted here, just trying to get this on the green, thinking anywhere on the green's good. I'm not trying to be too cute and just give myself a, a putt at the par. And I hardly hit that and it still went past the hole, but misread it and we tap in for bogey. The straight six hole here, 373 metres. 
Another good drive, no complaints with how I'm driving the ball. Just missed the fairway by a foot. And another shot I just left out to the right hand side. I don't know what it is today. But that's too many shots out to the right. So chip this one up, not bad. And a very straight putt goes in the hole. So we save par there and move on to the brilliant seventh hole. Uh, pins on the back right if you can't see it. And I can assure you I wasn't aiming there. I was aiming the left side of the green. And what do you know, I blocked it right and thankfully it stayed on the green and caught a piece. And it's brought up a great look at birdie. And I don't know how that didn't go in. But it's another par. And that's very good for the score. All right, short par four eighth. Good drive up the middle. And what a disastrous shot this is. Just finally stopped hitting one out to the right and actually missed that one left and short. Found the bunker. Good bunker shot, just didn't release as I thought it was going to down the hill there. But I've got a decent look at par, thinking here this is a really good chance to go in, but just slides by. It'll leave a tap in, or so you would think. I don't even know what that was. I don't think I've missed a putt that short for about 10 years, but it happens. And the short par 5, ninth, 460 metres, so thinking here, get a good drive away, and I hit that really well. And we're definitely in the go zone to get on in two. And what a ball striker. How good is that? Absolute flushed it. Alright, still got about 150 in, hitting a 7 iron. Struck it well. All over it, drawing in. Just right and pin. And just on the front edge there. It's an uphill putt, so I'll give it a run. And I've left this very nasty slider down the hill. But thankfully I made it. All right, welcome to the 10th hole, 404 metres. I find this to be probably the toughest hole on the course, slightly downhill. Uh, get a good drive away down the fairway there, but as you see, when we get up closer, um, there's a lake on the right-hand side of the green and there's a creek and little estuary thing that runs across right in front of the green and I've still got about 180 here, so really trying to rip a, a rescue club down there and. Once it's again, to out to the on. right and straight into the water. So taking my drop here and trying to chip this close to try and save bogey. Thankfully well struck it really well. Yeah, this was a five, you'd be cheering. Yeah. And I'm just left with a nice little tap in there. Oh, yeah. So save right. bogey. Move to eight over. One of my favourite holes now, the 11th, 389 metres. Slightly uphill and then it moves downhill and around to the right. Just a just a lovely tree-lined hole. Um, this is autumn in Canberra. You see the colours in the trees. Just beautiful. And struck that rescue really nice. Just left of the flag. Just missed the green, but it's puttable. So I roll one down there. It didn't break as I thought it would have. But tap that one in. And we go to the 12th, par 3, 122 metres. Hitting an 8 on here. Beautiful uh, green complex once again. The mounding around this green, similar to the other par 3, is just spectacular. And that was an absolute dart. One of the best iron shots I've hit in a while. Straight at the flag. Great look at Birdie here. 
And what was that? Like, honestly, you've got to get it past the hole if you're putting for birdie, surely. And anyway, par it is. We hit a nasty hook off the 13th tee. Stronghold this one. 363 metres, but it probably plays more like 390 or so uh, with the uphill to the green that you'll see here. Uh, camera doesn't do it justice. And another great shot. Don't know why I look at the ground. It isn't, isn't it what you do? You hit a bad shot, everyone looks at the ground, blames the grass, the lie, but that was all me. And now this is sitting in a big wet patch in the fairway. You see the water spray up. But just thinking, get this on the green somewhere so we can have a putt. I hit this putt, I thought it was good. But look at it, look at the speed of the greens just running away down that hill. And I'm actually off camera now for this putt. But miss that one too. And unfortunately, it's a double bogey. So there's been a few of them today. Fourteenth hole, the par five. Great looking hole, this one. It's, uh, it moves in a big Pick S shape. Round to the left, off the tee, then back around the right, into the green. Hit a good drive. It's out to the right, but uh, nothing to worry about here. Sitting in the rough. Oh, another another bad shot that I've just blocked out to the right and didn't know what was out there. Thought I might have lost this, so put the club there. Was I did drop another one, but we found the first, and this is it, just next to the path. Can't see the green, got to get it up quickly over them trees. A player like me that hits a low ball flight, it's not the uh, ideal way. But thankfully hit that one well. Beautiful. And I'm absolutely stoked that that went over the top of the flag. And a look at birdie from off the green, just had to hit it, would have gone in. So tapping in for par, and we stay at 10 oh. over. Wow. Well done. So the beautiful afternoon light now, just coming through the long shadows on the par 3, 15th. Struck this 5 iron nice, but just caught the front edge of the green, and there's a big false front there. Rolled all the way back down, unfortunately. Pin was in the back left. And wasn't a very aggressive chip at all, but thankfully got over that bunker. And it's a long putt for par now. Not a bad effort. Tap it in for bogey and go to 11 over. Par 5 again. Good drive here. A little bit hooky for me. Kind of fell out of the sky a bit, so didn't go too far, but he can. nice three wood here. Just didn't turn it over, but it got a good bounce left after bounce. it landed, thankfully. And I'm left with about 100 yeah. into the green here, directly into the sun. So I actually hit this and can't see at all where it went. Felt good off the club, but as I said, couldn't see it. Yeah, went to the, the second mirror from the, from the right. We'll get up here, and it's a sneaky little bunker hidden in amongst the mounds right. that I've found. Splash that one out, and it just runs away down the hill. You can see again how fast the greens are. Just missed that one. So it's another drop shot. I'm a 12 over standing on 78T, 390 metres, up and over a hill. Really good driver hit there, right out of the middle. Just didn't get it enough over that hill to get the downslope, so I'm still left with about 160 in here. Hard to judge the distance with the elevation drop, but I hit that one nice. And it ends up just on the front edge of the green, or just, just short of the green, in fact. So, very puttable. Just thinking, putt this one up close. Thankfully, I've done that. 
and we tap it in for a par heading up the 18th. So another strong par four, 395 metres. Oh, sit down. And I just hit that one a bit hooky again for my liking, but that's okay. It's found the left rough. Two birds. A long way in. So I pull out the trusty three wood that I've topped a couple of times today. And here it is. Fucking <laughs> three wood. Got it in the air about two metres at least. Be level with mine. Funnily enough, that actually ran up there quite close to the front of the green, believe it or not. So. 18th hole, you want to finish on a high, so just thinking, chip this, make good contact and try and get up near the hole somewhere. The ball lands and releases nicely up the hill. So, got a good look at par on the 18th here at Gold Creek Country Club. Beautiful golf course, this one. If you're ever in Canberra, definitely put it on your must playlist. And we knock that in for par, so there it is. 12 over on the day, Gold Creek Country Club in Canberra. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe or comment. And uh, I'm looking forward to producing more of these as we move forward. So thanks again for watching and take care.